are stopping by my video. Today I'm gonna walk you through the process of February passion plan reflection because believe it or not, February is already over and it's actually March 7th already. It's been a week since we started March and uh, oh my gosh, I can't believe how fast the time fly but uh, it's it's about time or it's more than a good time <laughs> but anyways yeah it's time to to do the reflection and um, this time in February I did my spread a little bit differently than January actually so I will show you how my February spread currently looks like so let's go so as you can tell from how it looks in the spread for the February reflection page, I have been actually on a process and what I learned from January reflection is that when I try to do all the reflection at a time, um, it's possible that I have already forgotten most of the thing that happened in February and I decided to make it piece by piece and uh, one day at a time whenever I, I had some moment that I wanted to capture for February so well uh, I thought I would have been written a lot more at, at the end of the month and it still looks pretty empty but this a little preparation actually helps so this has been a strategy I have been implementing for February reflection page and I'm gonna do that a lot more for March because it's been really helpful and this pieces of words from, my, from myself in February um, actually helped me remember a lot more things that happened over the month so this is the strategy yeah I was trying in the past month also, of course, here are the same stickers that I started using in January. I was thinking about getting more stickers for February, but um, these are great colors for the early springs, and I think uh, they are good good for February reflection. So I didn't add anything more. So um, I just want to try to combine um, the stickers in a different way than January. So yeah, I will use this. Um, pieces of information and also these stickers and my uh, pens like this one so yeah and I will show you the process of uh, completing my favorite reflection Okay, so here I, I am for the outro of the video on a different day with the different clothes <laughs> again uh, and today is actually uh, International Women's Day so I decided to wear uh, red for today's clothes so yeah that's um, here I am today and uh, so I finished with the um, reflection February monthly reflection with my passion planners and um, as much as I was tempted to just fill the blank um, for a moment and um, I also enjoy the discoveries and learnings um, alongside with just writing and things and remembering how uh, I spent February. I also realized that I really need to work on the life improvement on my own um, because I know that there is something wrong and there is something going on then I have to fix but I don't know clearly about what kind of problem I have so I have to def I definitely have to start from defining the problem and uh, making the priorities and coming up with the solutions for each problem um, so yeah that's something I realize I really have to do right now and it's always nice to learn something even when it's something not positive so um, it's something 
I enjoyed learning uh, uh, through this process. But uh, overall, um, to summarize, especially the differences from、um, January to、um, February, is that these are both、uh, pretty much tough, rough, and struggling months for me. But、uh, at the end of the month in February, I decided to. To do more work, and I also started working a lot more than、uh, at the end of January. So、um, my life is getting more、um, realistic and、um, getting everything together. And now I feel pretty empowered and positive、uh, in the beginning of March. So it's a good thing. So yeah, that's、uh, that's about it. And、uh, I hope you. I don't know if you enjoy this video, but.、Um, I just want to say thank you so much for sticking with this video again. And、um, I'm about to shoot another video、uh, today from now. So、um, I hope you come back to my video and I will see you in the next video again. Okay.